Look at this bitch following me. Look at this bitch. Watch. Cleveland Get Indians. Get you evicted, yeah. Loser. You watch. You're Get loser. me evicted. Watch this. She shouldn't have been rude. No. Freedom of speech, buddy. You're right. You're going to get evicted. No, I'm not. Too ma I've done too much business here. Oh, yeah. You watch. Can't do shit. Watch. Can't do nothing. Watch. She's not even answering the phone for you. Okay. Don't worry about it. You watch. Why are you following me? Fuck away from me. Before I defend myself. Defend yourself. You don't want me to defend myself. This is this is GR. Nobody's even on the phone. Hey Aaron, this is GR. Give me a call. This is gotta be rude. Stop following me, dude. I said fuck off and that was it, so get the fuck away from me. Leave me the fuck alone. You leave me alone before I defend myself. Then get the fuck away from me. Stop following me, dude. Okay, so this is my house right now. I have all these shelves right here. Six shelves and I have eight. So I'm going to put another one right here and another one probably behind the couch right here. Set this little area up. Got a couple TVs here. Got a, cou a couch with a bunch of jerseys I'm going through. Um, I just got back from Kingman. Just unloaded all the wood. And just unloaded the trailer. So that's what I'm doing. The cats. All the cats are outside playing. So that's cool. House is kind of a disaster area. But. That's what's going on. Alright so for my inventory. And I also put a. Thing up here which. My speakers are going to go up there. My nice speakers are at the store right now. I'm going to bring those back tomorrow. I put a couple of helmets up there. And I had to hang a blanket because there's a door there. Kind of looks ghetto, but it'll work. So my inventory, my room is thrashed with games. I have $150,000 worth of games. Check this room out. So what I'm going to do, first things first, I'm going to take this Xbox 360 box right here. All these games. And put them out. Start putting them out on the shelf. And then what I'm going to do is I can put them in inventory. I'll put a little desk probably in. I'll just have my desk in there that I have. That desk right there. Probably keep that in there and just do inventory like that. But I'm going to put all my games and all my DVDs that I don't have in my store. They're all going right here. So that's the idea. And I hope it looks good when it's done. You know, it really amazes me going through stuff that you don't see at first going through all these games, making sure the games are in the cases. I paid $100 for all these games. Plus a another box over there at a yard. Alright, so my phone ended up dying, but... Alright, so it's just crazy to see. This is the cleanest copy I think I've ever owned. Just got this with this pile right here. Another copy of NCAA 14. Let me show you that it's complete. It's just crazy. How I keep getting this game and this is definitely the cleanest copy I could easily get hundred and fifty dollars for that game so that's number seven I have seven copies of that game now unbelievable so I am on my way to Flagstaff Arizona to buy four switch systems I'm not gonna mention what I'm getting them for but I'm definitely gonna be able to flip them at the store so, I wouldn't be driving to Flagstaff if I was flipping them for, you know, cheap. So, I'm going to be making good profit on these. And, uh, I might just keep a Switch because what I was thinking is the price I'm going to be selling them for, it would pretty much, I'd pretty much be getting all my money back and then I could get a free Switch. Which, I had five Switches at one point and I played some games. I, I'm not really a video game person. But I did like Super Mario Maker 2. I probably won't keep any. I'll probably sell all four of them. I'm just trying to get here because he says that there was another guy that was potentially going to buy two of them. So I'm hoping not. We'll see when I get here, I guess. So he just contacted me and said he sold two of the switches. Fuck. So 
I bought four switches last week, sold all four of them like nothing. Now I'm going to buy two more. I was hoping to get four. It's whatever. It's all good. So I'll sell these. I already got deposits on both of these. So they're already sold. Man, I just... Would I have came here for two switches? No. But I'm already here, so it's all good. Meeting the guy right now for the two switches. Not going to say how much money's here, but enough money... For two switches, that's for sure. I'm at the Bank of America, and I guess there's like a Staples over there. Meeting the guy here in Flagstaff in this parking lot. Excited to get these two switches. Alright, so I'm going to bring these two switch games in. I'm at Bookman's in Kingman. And I'm also going to bring an NSA Football 14 for PS3 and NSA Football 14 for 360. I'm just, I'm going to record it. I'm going to put it in my pocket I'm curious to know how much they'll give me for this stuff it's just a fun little deal I'm definitely not getting rid of this stuff 100% no matter what they say okay perfect but yeah we usually have to test all the customers oh that's fine it's brand new so I got you I don't think it's ever even been on yeah they're, they're brand new in the box very cool. Yeah, let's, uh, here, I'll go get it. Do you guys have any in stock right now? No, we don't. Okay. Actually, so, yeah, I'll go ask them. Alright, thank you. They do have Xbox games here and Xbox too. I'm curious to know how much I could get for those. Is it full switches? Yeah, brand new in the box. Uh, Uh, both. I just want to know both. Okay, sure. Yeah. Um, probably something to the tune of 400 in store credit or around 300 cash. For each? What? 300 each? Total. What? Yeah. $150 each cash? Yeah. It's terrible. What about this? Uh, if we wanted them. I'm sure you want them. Do you guys have any copies of those in stock either? Uh, doubtful. $150 each? Might as well give them to you. <laughs> Um, this one about 60 bucks store credit or 30 cash, this one I wouldn't want. Sounds good, thank you. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you want this one? Scratch. Oh, is it? Yeah. Do you guys clean this? Uh, not as a service, no. Oh, okay. I didn't know it was that scratch, I grabbed the wrong one, I guess. Yeah. I got like seven copies of this game. Mm -hmm. He's the only one with a turn. Well, him and the That's fair. That's so cool. <laughs> So you heard it. And yeah, my game is pretty scratched. I need to get it cleaned, but um, I have a bunch of copies of that game, so it doesn't matter. But So pretty much it probably would have been $30 cash or $60 credit for both. 
which is the biggest ripoff in the world. The game's going for 130 right now. And then for the Switches, $150 each in the box, and they're going for like $500 each right now. This place is a fucking joke. I didn't buy nothing. I recommend not going here. I understand they got to flip for a profit or whatever, but that's just ripping people off. I recommend not going to this place ever unless you want to get ripped off. That's ridiculous what they just did. Offering me... <laughs> that was just... That's just bullshit is what it is. And people want to get ripped off like that, go here. $150 for a brand new Switch right now. And they're going to turn around and sell it for 500 